Hi guys, it's Danny. I'm coming today to share a video response for Ashley Laura. Um, she's having a 1,000 Subby Challenge uh, giveaway. And um, there's, I believe, three ways that you can enter. You could leave a comment on the original video. You could follow her on Instagram. And then I think you have to find the post um, about her giveaway and leave a comment there. And then the third way is you can also um, do, you could do a layout. And she wanted to know, like, you, you know, what your favorite kind of techniques or, you know, things that you like to do with your scrapbooking or your card making. Um, mine is layering. And um, anyway, so I did the first two. And then this is the third thing I wanted to do, which is a video response for her and a layout. Um, pretty much, uh, I like to layer. You guys pretty much already know that. And um, not just with paper, I like to do it with stickers, um, you know, with, with cork, with just different kinds of elements, different textures. I really like, and I like to curve and curl my edges too. Sometimes I use small pop dots and sometimes I just actually bend them so that you can see all the different layers. And obviously some are thicker than others and some are flat so that you can see the different dimension. But if you'll notice, like I... I pull up a lot of my um, edges, kind of make them look so they're ruffled and not perfect. Anyway, so I'm going to share a couple of the products that I did. Oh, first of all, let me tell you, if you don't know about Ashley Laura, you must go check out her videos. She is awesome, amazing, talented, talented, talented. Um, she is also part of the uh, Sandra and Lisa's design team, and she's also a design uh, designer for the Hip Kit Club. So she's really, really, really good. Um, I love her videos. Okay, so please go check it out, and I will leave um, I will leave a direct link so you can just click on over. Okay, um, and then let me just share a couple of the products really quick, and then I'll go into the layout. I use some of these. Um, uh, drawing a blank. The the frames from oh, <laughs> of course, because I'm on camera. Okay, I know you're all yelling at your computer screens. <laughs> oh, come on, really? The Pier. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. I love these frames. I'm sure everybody's got these. Um, I think this is like my second set. I love to um, also cover them with Versamark or, yeah, Versamark and put different color, um, what do you call it, embossing powders. I like to use them that way too, or paint them different colors. But anyway, I love them. I use some of those. Then I use these. Um, these were from the Lawn Fawn Into the Woods flare. This was from a while back. I used one of the flares. Um, then I, I mainly, this is mostly um, Ellie's Studios. And this was the boy collection called, uh, I think it was Cameron. Yeah, Cameron. So here's a little bit left over from that. These, oh, it, I covered up the back, sorry about that. They're really, really cute. I love this line so much, it's adorable. I still have a few left in here. And then I use a little bit of Studio Calico. I love these gold, gold stars. And here's just a little bit of the paper that's left over from Cameron. It's just such a cute, adorable boy line. And this is what the back looks like. Sorry, it's just scraps, but in case you guys haven't seen this line, it is such an adorable boy line. The colors are like perfect. I love it, love it, love it. And then this is how I did my title. I cut it apart instead of, you know, this is one whole sheet. And I just fussy cut to make, make my nephew's name. And I totally love, okay, so let me show you the layout. So... Um, let's see. So it's my nephew and, um, I just love, love, love how this turned out. I, Ellie Studios is like one of those companies that I, I really hadn't ordered that much of, like just a tiny bit here and there. Um, and I just absolutely, I think I'm hooked on them now because they're really so much cuter than I ever imagined. And just from fussy cutting, I love how his name turned out, you know, and just layering them all on top of each other. I didn't have an extra N, so I just made it with a, I just used some thick, a thicker for this N. It's one of those corrugated ones. And then just different layers <clears throat> on this. These two right here, it's hard to tell because I have them layered, um, 
are are part of this are part of this set. They're like three by fours and four by sixes, and they're really cute because they have like tabs. So I really like that file tab look. And then um, this was one of my. Uh, this is a, a pink paisley. I actually only had. I think I only have like one left. They're white and they have like a resist on them and they're chipboard and they're from Pink Paisley. Well, I just did the heat embossing that I was talking to you about that I like doing on these frames. I heat embossed it in gold. And then there's just more of those little tidbits and arrows. It's a lot of them I fussy cut out and I edged with, uh, with a navy ink. And then I just, again, fussy cut here. I, I edged a bunch with navy ink so that they would pop up. This is some more of the frames. There's the flare. Again, I cut another one out of the paper. That same sheet of paper, I did a seven, because he's seven here. And then I just did my journaling here. Anyway, I really love, and then I did some splatters. That's what I meant to pull. Sorry about that. Um, I did this with the Heidi Swap um, mustard, the mint green, and then I actually did it with the, not Heidi Swap, but um, Mr. Huey's Navy. So those are the three colors I used for doing the ink splatters on the two corners. So hopefully you like my layout. Thank you so much. This was such an awesome challenge. You guys let me know what you think. I really, really love this page. Okay, thanks so much, you guys. Have a great day. Thanks again, Ashley.